How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my basement. We are going to do some PlayStation 5 streaming. I'm the last uh, journalist in the video game industry to get one of these things, but it's here. I don't care about that. It's finally here. We're going to play. We're going to have some fun. It's good to see everybody. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I've got Hip Hop Dan was number one. Good to see you in the house. Goku is here. Zhang Fei 500. Raptor 5150. Taz. Uh, starts with Astro's Playroom. Absolutely, Taz. That's exactly what we're going to start with. Let's uh, let's uh, skip all the hubba baloo. It's awesome to see everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of uh, the Electric Playground and uh, a part of this stream. Uh, as you can see, I've got five games loaded up uh, for the queue. This is NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Bug Snacks. Spider-Man Miles Morales is almost downloaded. So we're going to play some Astros Playroom. Basically, we're going to go through these games in order as they start to download. I'm patched in over uh, the internet, so hopefully um, it's not going to be too slow. Goku also just got his PS5. A lot of people did, uh, and I am f I'm so freaking happy that I have this thing. So let, let us jump in and uh, jump in and play some Astros Playroom. What do you guys think? How's it going, Raptor5150? And... Uh, Beam of laser, uh, beam of laser, right? That's what it is. Okay, here, let's go. All right. Um, I haven't seen anything. You are joining me on my very first time turning this thing on, pretty much. So let's go. Hello from El Paso, Texas. Amazing. Glad you got one, Vic. Thank you, Showzama85. Thank you very much. Thanks for the support, you guys. All right, let's jump in. Uh, this experience was created to show you some of the cool tricks possible with your DualSense wireless controller. Oh, let's turn the volume up here. There we go. Uh, ready to join Astro for an adventure inside your PlayStation 5? Then let's dive in. Detroit is in the house. Fantastic. Hello, and Louis Arias is here. That's uh, a Ruth 51485. All right, so this is meant to show uh, this... This beautiful baby off. Oh, I can already feel it. it's very different. Oh, look at all this. All the PlayStations over the years. This is my fifth PlayStation launch, by the way, everybody. My fifth PlayStation console launch. Uh, oh, and I'm getting uh, notifications on my watch that Spider-Man is ready to play. That's so cool. Um, yeah, it was pretty sweet to be able to hook everything up through the app. I got a, uh, a tweet from Taz saying that it takes about an hour, so I kind of... I basically just opened it up and just started racing to set it all up. Uh, it just arrived. Okay, so here we go. Adaptive triggers. Got them. Ooh. Oh, my God. These feel very different. I've been playing on the Series X, and they feel very different from the Series X. Okay, next. Let's go. Touchpad. I can draw some stuff on here. Why don't we do a little bat wing? Ooh, we're going to be faster. Okay, let's try that faster. Oh, it's hard. Ah! Okay, next, you guys want to see me draw Batman symbols. Motion sensor, yes, that looked, that felt pretty cool. Now I've got headphones in, so I won't be able to hear the speaker probably coming out of this thing. Nor will you. Maybe you will, though. All right, here we go. we got a microphone. Hello. 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 It's got the higher ground now, Anakin. All right, let's go. You can't win. I've got the higher ground now. All right, let's do this. Abby Jamison is here. Mike Bouchard. Uh, Philly, Montreal. Hey, Vic, if you have a PS4 digital game and want to upgrade to the PS5 version, do I need the PS4 one on the PS5? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Mike Bouchard. Very good question. Always appropriate. Here we go. Uh, Lee Fan B is here. Fantastic. Okay, so we have the controller. It's it's moving in 3D space right here. Ooh, nifty. Okay, we're going to send out Astro. Now, if anybody's played the um, uh, VR Astro game, it's one of the coolest VR experiences I've ever played. What I've heard of this game is that it's not long enough for how awesome it is. Ooh, I need to switch the... Uh, um, can I? Ooh, maybe I can't invert. Oh, you know what? I think Sam Miskovich warned me of this. You can't invert, but the camera follows you along. Okay. Got my... Uh, okay, this feels good. Very good. I can feel the little pulsing through the uh, dual sense as I'm walking around. Oh, here it is, by the way. I don't know if you noticed my co-host today. This giant white sail here. The sail from Tron. This is the PlayStation 5 right here. 
I think it's beautiful. All right, here we go. So we're going to turn this thing. Boop. What do we do? Oh, we got to bust, bust the glass. Nifty. That's That was cool. Boop. Okay, this is my kind of game. I love platformers and action-adventure stuff. Okay, so what do we got to do? Bust. Break. Destroy. Okay. And now what's this? Got to light these up, right? Huh? Oh, tag them. Grab them. Here we go. Get out of there. Okay. Got a little robot buddy in there. Boop. Uh, Vic, is there a setting that will auto-invert all games? I don't know. Bug snacks ready to play. I just got a notification on my watch. That's what... I mean, it's insane. Uh, okay. So we're going to bounce through five games today. Does that sound cool? And I've got one PS4 game. I, I uh, loaded up Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I haven't downloaded my save files. So what am I doing now? Am I trying to bust this? Did it tell me? I was talking to you guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But I'll figure it out. Hey, I know, I know that PlayStation. Look at that. PlayStation Labo. Oh, I guess this was the uh, the hub world right there is where I was. PlayStation Labo. Cool. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm here. I'm gonna I'm gonna smack you with my yes, my little rocket boots. Well, this looks great right out of the box. It looks beautiful. 1080p, 60 frames per second. If you guys want full screen, let me know. Hey, Vic, picked up the PS5 today, my first Sony system since the PlayStation 2, and it is blowing my mind. Every adaptive trigger function... Uh, function ooh, I almost swore there. Didn't mean to. Function in Astro's Playroom is so satisfying. Boop. I'm going to add all the boops in this game, if that's all right with you guys. This looks like a pure love letter to the history of PlayStation, as it should be, right? Guys, this might be the last... PlayStation as a console. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be all, you know, Debbie Downer, but consoles might not be a thing in seven years, which is how long it's been since the PlayStation 4 came out. We shall see. Okay. Oh, that feels amazing. Okay. What am I doing? Just letting it go. Okay. What do I got to do? Uh, okay. I'm pressing that. Oh, and pulling that? What? I'm pressing that. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Oh, it doesn't go all the way back. Why? Bug Snacks is ready to play. Did I get two versions of Bug Snacks? I think I might have. Okay, what do I got to do here? Do I have no, not have enough money? Is that what it is? Um, it's kind of like Wally. -E. Yes, the PS4 was also touted as the last PlayStation. Pull. Okay, I, I mean, I'm pulling on the thing. I'm stumped. Should we just stream this for five hours? I don't know what's happening. Okay. Um, I think I need money or something. It's saying goodbye to me. I need a thousand. Okay, Vic, did I miss the unboxing? I didn't unbox it. There's a million unboxings out there. You guys have been waiting. If I had gotten it even a day earlier, I would have unboxed it. Uh, but um, it was... It was um, it was eventful for me, but would have been very fast content. Would have been the fastest unboxing on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I should have done... Ah, I even tore the shipping crate that it came in because I couldn't get the box out quickly enough. <laughs> I wanted to stream with you guys today. That was my plan. Well, it was my plan yesterday. Um, but it's here, and that's what we're going to do. The games are the story, right? Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm already confused in this cutesy game. I apparently need a thousand dollars. Look at that. That's cute. That's so cool. Can I can I try it? Can I can ha can I have a turn? No. Okay. Oh look, they're filming it and everything. That's cute. Okay. Did I go in the wrong room? Perhaps. Perhaps I did. Let's go see what's over here. I guess this is showing you how fast levels load off the SSSD. SSSD. 
I added an extra S in there. That's the CPU plaza. Let's go in here. Oh, I see. Showing you... Um, I, oh, I see. I, I had 13 coins, and I need a lot more coins. I get it. I get it. See, I can figure this stuff out when I'm not talking through it. So you guys will just have to bear with me and help me out. Help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get up here. Ooh, there's... Money! Yeah, money! PlayStation ducats! Let's get up here. This is cute. First trophy on the PlayStation 5, right there. Adorbs. Capital Adorbs. Oh, I'm in a cloud. Ooh, squishy. Yeah, this is very much like the VR experience. Which is fantastic. I wish everybody could try that. I think that was my favorite VR game that year when it came out. I think 2017, if I'm not mistaken. VR Grid will tell me. VR Grid, I saw that message that you've got to wait till the 17th for yours. I think we can just say it. This was a, uh, a brutal pre-order sequence for PlayStation 5. I mean, there are m many more uh, severe problems in the world than us getting our consoles, you know, on time or, or early in my case. But uh, um, this was a very, very rough launch of this machine and there's a lot of unhappy sort of extremely patient and impatient people today as i think there was a couple of days ago with the uh xbox and how spoiled are the uh the dual system owners like myself that have both of them to to bounce between crazy week in games right here uh okay what do i do here nothing Oh, it's my checkpoint. Okay, cool. Jump up here. Jump up here. Um, what? Oh, this is like a fan. Oh. Ah, cool. Oh, neat. This is so Mario-esque. It's amazing. Okay. Astrobot and Smash. Let's do it. Oh, I'm dead. Ouch. Hello, Bonabiche. Is Am I saying that right? Marco A, my Miles Morales physical copy arrives tomorrow before the PlayStation 5. Well, I ordered the physical Miles Morales because I wanted to have at least one disc to celebrate this machine with. And guess what? Got the notice from Activision. Comes on Sunday. Ah! And I was really wanted to show off the um, remastered version of... The f of Spider-Man from 2018. But I guess that's a stream for another day, which is fine, right? We got lots to play today. No more complaining, Lucas. Just have fun. I was just squished. Am I dead again? That's it. Don't go underneath that thing. Okay, pay attention, dude! Okay. Here we go. Kablooey! Oh, I almost died. Got too excited. All right. I'm probably... Uh, I, sh I should go down there, shouldn't I? Okay. So I wait for them to line up and then jump. I get you. I've played a game before. Okay, and this guy's going to come down too, and I got him. Oop, just missed him. Got him, though. Okay, and then we're going to go to the checkpoint. All right. Life is good. Now uh, let's get down there and get some moolah. We need to get that gotcha ball let's get it how long is astro bad is it a bot has anybody uh beat this already and congratulations to everybody that got the playstation today i hope you're all having a good time with the ps5 this controller feels fantastic it's not subtle this. I mean, the the dual sense part of it is subtle. The look of it, not subtle. Oh, get away! Oh, I'm dead. I'm showing you the controller. I'm still charging it up. So I've got it plugged in.
That's so cool. You know, when I was playing the VR game, I I wished for it to be a non-VR game so more people could check it out. And now I'm playing this and I want this to be a VR game. <laughs> it's a bummer that we, we have to wait for uh, PS5 VR. I think VR Grid would agree with me on that. But uh, hopefully when and if it arrives, it'll be amazing. Console itself is a beast. Yes, it is. It's not subtle either. I made space, though. I made space in the cave. I was moving stuff around today. New artifact. I have some of those, and it's in mint condition. Groovy. Ooh, these triggers are amazing. Wow. The resistance is just cool. Okay. So close. Boop. And we're going to jump down here. Oh, almost went for it. Goodbye, helmet head. All right. Goodbye. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, Vic, could you uh, test if PSVR looks more defining than PS4 Pro? I didn't get the... Uh, oh, NBA 2K21 is ready to play. I did not get the... Um, um, Adapter, the dongle. I'm going to ask Sony for that. I feel I've got a lot of uh, flat screen gaming to kind of test out. Whoosh. But I definitely will. I just, I want to see if like load times and stuff speed up. The game that I want to really test out again is uh, Iron Man VR, which I, I, I loved. And I think it's one of the coolest of the VR games this year. But it could use... Uh, stand to use a little bit of enhancement, which hopefully PS5 delivers on. Okay. All right, we're earning. We're earning. We're, we're making some dough. We're not freeloaders here. We're making our, our moolah. Oops, sorry, cameraman. Look at that. That's a big coin. Let's go up here. Cool. Oh, look at that. That's a PlayStation controller cloud. That's cute. And what's this one? This is a, a PlayStation 1 cloud. That's surreal. Oh, we'll get over here. Get over here. Woo! Tale of my defeat. Most anticipated PS5 game that hasn't been announced. Uh, is that your question to me? That hasn't been announced. Mm. Uh, thank you for the super chat, my friend. That is fantastic. Uh, I would say um, I want those Konami and Metal Gear Solid rumors to be true. And I would love, like... We start over with Metal Gear on PlayStation 5, and we start with uh, the story of Metal Gear 1, but it's all ramped up to insane proportions. Oh, wow, look at that, a Sony PlayStation mouse. I don't know if I ever had one of those. Let's get a close-up look at it. Uh, but good question. Um, honestly, you guys know I'm a huge superhero video game fanatic, and I'm excited that we've got... Uh, um, you know, the the Batman-less game coming from Rocksteady, the, uh, what's it, the, um, Suicide Squad versus Justice League, or kills the Justice League, and also the Batman-less, uh, game, uh, what's it, Gotham Knights from, uh, WB Montreal. I'm excited for both of those games. Those are gonna be fun. But you know what? I want a Batman game. I want a new Arkham game. Is that too much to ask? It's been a long time since Arkham Knight. I love that game, and uh, I would like more. And I would like Kevin Conroy to just crush it. And I'd want to be super entertained in, in next gen. Ooh, what happened? I lost my spring. I lost my spring thing. Oh, I have to pull this out. Okay, here we go. There we are. Boop, boop. There we go. Cool. Breezy. Or a Justice League game. Start with Metal Gear Solid, I think, Sam. I am 111. Good question, though. There we go. You know what would be cool, though, is if they did, like, prequel stories for Metal Gear 1 with the, with the new engine, however they do it, that are the stories from... Metal Gear 1 and 2 that Kojima worked on. That would be incredible. David Hayter's back. I mean, I'm, I'm half designing this for you, Sony. But that would be so killer. 
And honestly, I'm such a massive fan of what Insomniac's doing with Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse at this point that I really want a Venom game. I was thinking that the whole time I was playing uh, Miles on uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. That would be super fun. And I, I don't remember what the robot is called from Spider-Verse, but the, uh, the spider robot um, and Penny Parker, I think. That would be a, a killer experience, too. Like, we jump into the future and... Oh, don't run over a, the electrified thing. What do you guys want? What, what non-announced um, game for PlayStation 5 do you want Sony to make? Or somebody to publish on the PlayStation 5? That is a great question. That's a great uh, topic of discussion right there. A Twisted Metal experience would be pretty cool. Ah, okay. It shows you what to do. I burned him. Or, okay. Tony Hawk 3 and 4. There you go. A Legacy of Kane remake. Nice. Armored Core 6. Rockin' Patapon 4. Is that Greg Miller? Who's that in there? Who's pa Who said Patapon 4? Uh, that is Mad Chrono. Awesome. Another SSX is Zone of Enders SSX. Ooh, that would have been awesome if EA said, you know what, we're going to launch the PlayStation 5 with a new SSX. Oh, man. Maybe PS6, whatever that turns out to be. A Kill Zone reboot would be pretty rad. Parappa the Rapper. I think Metal Gear is is a pretty good one, right? Like it's so cinema, synonymous with the uh, the PlayStation history. It's such an important brand, and it's been. I mean, there's so much controversy around it. It'll be just a good, a good thing, to bring back. Make people feel good. But there's a lot, man. I mean, they could do a remaster of the Uncharted games, too. Oops. Vic, get your request in for the PS6 now with Sony. Yes. Seriously, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Get over here. Dino Crisis, Parasite Eve. A remaster of the PlayStation 4 remaster of Uncharted 1 to 3. Well, what I'm thinking is not just a remaster, but like a full remake with... Um, which they might do, right? Like they're going to be... Uh, I guess if this movie is a hit, they might redo everything and put um, Tom Holland into the games. Um and sort of redo the stories with next-gen tech and, like, photorealism that just completely blows our little minds. I, I, I mean, conceivably, they're going to be expanding the awareness of Uncharted to a whole new audience, and that wouldn't be a bad move. Uh, different games, same VR character, new Sony mascot. Kind of, right, Carl and Simon? Uh, Miss Ojat, if the game Vic is playing the same game as the VR one now just for non-VR, or is it different with the same character? Different with the same character meant to show off this thing, the DualSense controller. So um, uh, it's very cool, and it, it you do feel the different elements of the controller sort of coming into play as you're cruising around. Just like the VR game was meant to show off um, the interactive uh, sort of connection between the controller and the VR experience. Astro's been around since PS3. Oh, because of... Uh, with the camera, right? Yes, definitely next-gen feel, but I've only played this so far, so... The controller is... is the thing that feels very different and unique. You can feel all of the motors and... Oh, cool. All right, so this is... What do I do here? I'm in the ball. I I wasn't paying attention, everybody. What do I do? Okay, come on. Okay, I see you. Oh, is it this? This is what it is. Okay, gotcha. This is the... Uh, I'm, I'm using the touchpad now to control this. They want, it, they want you to... get to check out all of its 
abilities. This is pretty neat. Okay. It's definitely got a Nintendo vibe. Boop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Let's try that again. Go. Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that this comes packed in, though. It's the way it should be. Even if they, if they can't give you, like, a full game, a game that shows off capabilities, smart. Make it not just, you know, pressing buttons and... Oh, neat. You know, just sort of tapping on things and seeing how the uh, the dual sticks kind of move in different directions and stuff, but actually make it interactive. Very smart. I think this will be the way that it that uh, new consoles launch all the time with with a game like this. I'm sure Nintendo's going to go. Mm, why didn't we do that? VR grid. When 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 did uh, is is Foobs in here? Fantastic. Uh, VR grid. When did Astro first show up, or somebody with the Google? What was the first thing that Astro was in? I'm sure I played something with Astro back then, but I oh my, it's jumping Flash. Oh my God, look at that. So cool. Love it. Okay. Jumping Flash is fantastic. Should we stop this and play Jumping Flash on the PlayStation 1? <laughs> I could go hook up the Polymega right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. I see why they came up with that song. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. Cool. Oh no! Oh no! Get down there. Get it. Alright. Come on over here. There you go. Nice. Get it. Nice. Alright. Uh, oh. I missed a bunch. It's okay. Didn't, didn't know you'd come here to watch me blow my controller today, did you? I said it. Okay, here we go. Uh, boop, boop. Got you. <laughs> Let me get this thing. I just, uh... I, I I just uh, referenced a Tommy Tellerico right there. I think. <laughs> oh no! Oh, look at what happened to chat. Look at that. I made it weird. I made it weird. I'm sorry, guys. Well, you know what? Made, the the other guy that kind of made it weird was that that um, I don't know what his last name. The Craig guy from Apple. Uh, opening the MacBook in the in the Apple thing yesterday was weird. I don't know if anybody saw that, but they played some Barry White, and he's like, "Ooh, yeah, it was that was weird." <laughs> Everybody behave. That's right, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> you got got you thinking about Je Jessica Showbot's uh, PSP. Yeah, that really put her on the map in a big way, didn't it? That was so cheeky. She's fantastic. She's, I've always been impressed by uh, uh, her hosting capabilities. She's just really strong. Good peeps. I'm friends with uh, with her and, and her husband, uh, Blair Herder. Known those guys for years. Blair Blair was uh, on uh, Real World. 
I don't know if he wants me talking about this, but he was on Real World and was friends with Julie Stouffer, who was also on Real World. And of course, they both love video games. And we would see those, we would see Blair all the time at E3 and stuff. So I'm blowing again, everybody. Relax. Woo! Okay, so I want to check mark myself there, check checkpoint myself there, checkpoint over here. Badoo! This is like a full fun experience. This is cool. Man. Oh, dead. Okay. Pretty sure the Playroom was the first Astrobot game for the camera on PS4. Came with the system too. Oh yes, yes, yes. It's coming back to me now. The VR game was so definitive. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. That it almost felt like the debut in a way. Oh, darn it. Here we go. EPN has turned into an ASMR channel with all this blowing. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Next gen, man. There it is. <laughs> Where you blow on your controller. Ah! Actually, we were doing that on the Nintendo DS many years ago. It was weird then, too. And Tommy used to talk about blowing his his uh, DS all the time. Okay. Ah! Here we go. There are lots of effects happening. There's a lot going on. It feels very solid. More music could have been added to this. I, I, we got the, it's, this is a little bit like, uh, everything is awesome. Okay. I see, I see, I see. It's a gauntlet. You don't want to run across. You can't outrun lightning, everybody. You're getting a safety tip right here. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I need this. And I need this. And I need that. And I got it. But I need to get over there. I feel like I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. I guess there's a replay kind of... There's replay um, elements to this as well, right? You can't... I don't think you can get everything on your first kick. It's pretty cool. You guys want to check out Miles? After I get past this, when I get to the next checkpoint, you guys tell me. We play Miles, or I can throw on Bug Snacks, or we can throw on, um, oh, 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 um, NBA 2K21, whatever you guys want to check out. Uh-oh, <laughs> clouds disappear. Uh-oh, uh-oh, two minutes to Wapner. Uh-oh. Uh, Miles, all right, let's do it. Uh... This, the, yeah, the CRT television hell, that's right. That's how heavy they were. That's what it felt like. Oh, cool! Look at this! Iron Giant! I love it! Superman! Oh, this is great. What a beautiful... What a beautiful little experience this is. It looks great in 1080p. I can't wait to see it over there on the on the 4K, man. Whoosh. Okay. Um, I don't have the Call of Duty. They're sending something. I don't know what they're sending, but they got in touch with me, and I, I think it's some. I think I'm getting it in physical. Um, but I checked, and it didn't come in today, so it it might come in tomorrow. It was coming from the States, and sometimes when stuff gets sent, that's kind of why I, um, I, I approve of our digital future for my job. Um, there were so many late packages, partially because, this is cool, partially because we're in Canada and it has to cross the border, and, and uh, so we, we were always scrambling and, and change, oh, this is amazing, it's a, it's total pinball. Um, 
so we were always changing the orders and the structures of things we were going to review because we were waiting for packages to arrive all the time. And I think that's what's going on with uh, Call of Duty. I, I checked. I wanted to play that today with you guys, too. But you know what? We're just getting started, man. This is day one, PlayStation 5. We got a lot of things that we're going to check out and play together. And that's what we're doing. Been basically streaming every day the last little while because so much stuff is coming out. Woo, okay. Oh, 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 go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go get it. Oh, go, no, no, no. Okay, I got to the checkpoint. Okay, here we go. Oh, what the frack? What was I supposed to do there? Don't hit that. I see, okay. Well, they gave me... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I get this, I get it. Okay, I got the puzzle piece already. Ooh, this is tough. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm over the music. I'm loving the experience over the music. Okay, watch out, everyone. No! Hey, Vic, Tommy, wipe out on the... Uh... Did Tommy wipe out on his board in celebration of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if he's played that. That is from... Who said that? That was Amen Abdalion. Abdalion. Amen Abdalion. Uh... I don't even know if he's played that. He is definitely in shipping a console uh, mode right now and getting all the stuff together for Intellivision. And what we... We just talked to each other a couple weeks ago, and what we decided is we're going to talk to each other after these machines are out, and I'll get his thoughts on everything. So, oh, geez. Maybe next week I'll try to coordinate. And actually, I'm working on um, uh, an amazing... I don't think it's going to be live because there's too many people involved in it but it will be an epic uh vic's basement very interesting and i don't think you'd be able to guess it but you're gonna like it i promise um so watch out for that it'll be a oh my god okay this i need to i need to focus it'll be a video and audio um gr group interview with some very fun people <sighs> Oh, jeez. Slow it down, dude! Okay. I don't normally use the touch sensor, the touchpad for controlling things. This is the first time on a PlayStation thing, I've, a PlayStation game I've been doing that. I, I, don't, I can't even remember the last time I used the touchpad on the PS4. Oh, my God. This is nerve-wracking. Slow. 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 Woo! All right. Look at this. We're going to get... Yeah. What What the frack was that? What is this? The pocket station. Anybody have one of these? Nifty. Look at that. Oh, you can look at it. You can go right around. That's cool. Wow. Okay. I use the touchpad on, uh, on my wife all the time. Something tells me I'd be a natural at this game. All right, Carl. All right, TMI, pal. Um, sticker tilt. Let's see. Electric Playground is the fountain of youth. There you go, XGR. Extensive game reviews. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Uh, close. Boop. All right. Let's go back here. Go back here. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, I saved myself there. Okay, let's go over here. And then bonk. Bonk. Bonk! Whoa! So I actually have some money now. I can get something in the gotcha ball. Okay, I did it. Groovy! Little super monkey ball. And then it's Sobe Television. Look at that. That's cool. A nod to their robots. Oh, crazy. This is a love letter to PlayStation. I love it. Okay, now what? Do I get to play a classic PlayStation 1 game? That'd be pretty cool. 
This is wonderful. Oh, yeah. I've, now I've got that in my head. I'm going to be singing it like crazy. S sorry to everyone I know. Hi, guys. Are these the, the monuments or the, the memories that I have collected? This mountain of CRTs. Nifty. There we go. Oh man, this just puts a huge smile on my face. Beautiful. Congratulations, Sony. That's super cool. Vic, do you still own a CRT? I do. I own two. I never turn them on, though. I, I, I get why people love all that stuff, but I am much more... That's why I love the analog uh, systems and the Polymega. I like this one cable, even though I have a million things, so they're all there's cables everywhere. I do like this sort of you know, streamlined kind of thing that we're in. One cable is your video and your audio. And I, I, I love, yeah, I, you know what I love is seeing old games and they're blown up on a massive TV and you see all the pixels and you see, I guess when I, when I see the art like that, I'm seeing the way the game makers made it. You know, you can see where they, they mathematically placed every single square and it's, it's very cool. Uh, you should hook it up and play NHL Face Off 97 for nostalgia's sake. I do have it hooked hooked up. I don't have, like, the setup that I would love to have, which is, uh, you know, all my classic systems all set up, in uh, it, like, almost in a separate room, and um, it's all on a CRT, and, and then I've got, like, the HD center. I don't have it all set up like that. I mean, I have a huge library of things I've shot in there so you guys have seen it and there's just no room to be able to do something like that but one day who knows okay so um th this is a little bit of astrobot I'll play some more of this let us jump now to um miles okay so we're gonna bounce out so go to home and we're going to go into uh, Miles Morales. How come it doesn't show up in the... That's weird. And... Oh, I don't want the PS4 bug snacks. I want the PS5 bug... Oh, I see. And that says PS4 as well. Does this auto go to PS5? I don't know. Oh, Carl and Simon, I don't know, man. <laughs> Is this last gen? I asked Sony today if this automatically goes to PlayStation 5. I don't know if it does or not, though. Does it? Check for updates. Um, so hold on a second. Yes. No. Until about a year ago, my life was pretty normal. I lived in the greatest place ever. Brooklyn. Represent. Had two cool parents and loved all things science and superheroes. Everything changed, though. I don't know if I'm going to even be able to see if it's... P well, it's... It's... Um, I mean, I'm streaming it not through HDMI 2.1, obviously, because this is a 1080p stream, so I don't know if it will... And I did start it on PlayStation 4, so I don't know if it's the same game. Do you guys know? Can somebody check that for me? Oh, spoilers. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll skip this. Skip. I don't need to see this. Sorry, guys. 
So let's see how quickly we load in. Um, I'm going to choose this one. Um, no. Okay, let's see. I don't know, man. Uh, that, that's uh, Mr. Bradfast random shenanigans. What happens if you put a PlayStation 1? Th this is liter literally my first time playing any of this stuff. With with all the exaggeration of... Oh, yeah, GameSpot. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I don't... I, I have the game on disc coming. It didn't arrive yet. So, I don't know... If it auto up converts, does anybody know? Just play it. Okay. That's good advice, Zombie Kohi. <laughs> I, I mean, it's going to look pretty much like the PlayStation 4 game, anyways, because it's streaming on uh, in 1080p here. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Should I do that right now, Foobs? Uh, Peter Kokosar, I've, nev I, I've, I've never seen that as a definitive, but I'll tell you the, uh, the classic... That's a good question about inverting left-right. The classic games that were sort of navigating through 3D um, stumbled a lot. So sometimes you do have to go back when you play some classic games. You have to invert the left and right. I didn't. I, I haven't really dug into the menus at Country Boy 9, John. This said it was a PS4 game. So I don't know. I don't know. First Puerto Rican, uh, first Puerto Rican video game protagonist, Miles Morales is incredible. Just such a beautiful character, and this game is so gorgeous. Uh, and honestly, I can't, I, I couldn't be happier for everybody involved. I saw Brian Michael Bendis's uh, Instagram post today congratulating everybody on the Sony team and uh, just what an incredibly vital and fantastic character to bring to life you know Spider-Verse is one of my favorite it's one of my favorite movies one definitely one of my favorite superhero movies one of my favorite movies I've seen it a million times got to meet some of the people that worked on that movie um, and I'm I, I'm not like the Miles Morales expert. The movie was really my first introduction, but I've gotten to know the character quite a bit more since then because I love the movie so much. So I've read some of the books and I devoured this game when I got it last week. And I'm playing it from the beginning on PS5, but I don't know. I'd like to know if I'm playing the PS5 version of the game. <laughs> I guess I should figure that out. I mean, it looks incredible to me. You know what I want to do? is bump into settings because I think you can choose on the PS5 version visual whether it's I think this is the PS4 version of the game isn't it okay wait a second let's see let's see what happens if I go into the store. I don't even. I've, this is my first time using all of these menus and everything like that. Got it. Okay, so. Okay, got it. Let's go. Here. Where do I go? Home. Do you. Do you have to download the whole thing?
Wouldn't it auto update it? I guess uh, maybe you don't. The store should know if you have the game right, then you'd uh, 65 bucks. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I have it. I've already bought it. I've got the disc version coming. Um, I thought it auto updated though. Does anybody know? We want to see the PS5 game, don't we? Yeah, we don't want to stream this. Okay. Dead wrong. Ray tracing and PS5 version and big difference. Okay, so um, it was the same. I have a PS5. I hear they are getting bricked. Wow. Uh, Sony's non-consumer friendliness. It can't. I mean, they couldn't have done that. This has got to be an... Like, it's so close to the launch. And it was the same price, right? Choose the three dots next to the play button. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for the super chat, uh, Vank, Vank XL. You rock. So three dots next to the play button. View product. Follow. All new games would upgrade. So this is interesting. Why is this not upgrading? Let's go into my library and no, there should be like an upgrade to PS5 button, right? View product. Come on. Anybody know? Let's see. What do you, what do you say? Oh my God! Do you remember that video? Yeah, this generation for Sony's be a huge douchebags compared to Xbox, at least to me. Wow, you do have to download it and have had to buy the PlayStation Five version. PS Five should have nothing but new games. Uh, wow, bad interface. Yep, it shows PS Four. Uh, true, but I keep hearing Xbox problems with the disc drive. Wait a sec. Why you need more money? Why is Sony making this difficult? John Boko. There's also an animated Miles Morales suit that changes the settings. Does anybody know? Select the upgrade offer on the Game Hub and review the upgrade offer. Oh, where's that? This is the grant the the up the game hub, right? This should this should not be this confusing. And you shouldn't have to buy the game again. It just came out. I mean, think about how many people ha will have bought the wrong thing as well, right? Uh, what is this? Sort and filter. Installed. Good, good idea, anime gun. Let's check it. Okay. Uh, manual save settings. Game. Audio, visual, accessibility. I don't think so, guys. How does he do the secret identity thing? Oh, that's cool. This is the share button right there. Okay. Okay. Missions, move list. Yeah, this is the PS4 game. That's crazy. Try the main menu uh, from Caveman Toe. Um, yeah, that's it. It's just this. I want the physical, so I, you know, I'm half thinking I should just buy the, uh, buy the, uh, 
buy the ultimate, but I actually want the disc. I want to. I know it doesn't have the disc for um, the Spider-Man remastered, but I but I actually want it. I want to have the physical thing. It's like a little memento. Arrgh. You don't get the free upgrade. Wow. To obtain the upgrade, you will need to insert your PS4 Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales disc into your PlayStation 5 console with Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive. I didn't get it. I got a code. It's a $20 upgrade from the main menu in the game. Oh, wait. The Spider-Man remastered necessary to play the PS5 version of Ma. I, I keep seeing mixed things. Some, say, some sites say you can, and others say you have to buy the PS5 Verized... Uh, PS5 version to get the upgrade. That's nuts. Okay. Um, all right. I, I will. Uh, I will touch base with Sony and maybe we'll stream some uh, PS5 miles tomorrow. This is 30 frames per second, 1080p, um, or checkerbox 4K. Well, it's in, it's in 1080p on, on this connection right now. It's a gorgeous game. I'm already addicted. I want to play it, uh, but I want to see it in all its glory. So we're going to play something else. Sorry, guys. That's not how I wanted that to go. Now, why does this say PS4 bug snacks? Because I got the code for the PlayStation 5. That's weird. Do I have a PS5 bug snack snacks? What's this? PS4? What? Is it both? I don't know. Let's check this out. All right, let's let's jump into Bug Snacks, and we will play a little bit of this sucker here. It has a note that says you will need to log into your PS5 console with the same PlayStation Network account that you were using when you purchased the PS4 version of the game. I, I tried a bunch of different things. If anybody has, like, the exact way to do it, well, I'll try it again. But we're going to try um, Bug Snacks. It's going to be a little hard to tell whether things are 1080... Or, or, uh, like, I don't... I, like, how is this going to look next gen? Does it? From Games Radar, Vic, as mentioned, Spider-Man Miles Morales on both PS4. And, uh, the good news, buying the standalone expansion on PS4 grants you a free PS5 upgrade. Try to filter the games in the library and choose PS5 games, maybe? Okay, go to the store and do that. Okay. All right. That is confusing, eh? Okay, we're going into the store. And... Coming soon, discover superheroes. Okay, Sp Spider-Man Miles Morales. Why is there a price on that? Standard edition. No. No. I mean, I, I, I want to press the ultimate edition and buy it and download it right now, but I've got the physical coming and I want to, I just want to have that. So I guess I could cancel that, but I want to, I want the thing. I want the disc. Uh, that's so frustrating. Who knew, right? Um. So these are the PS5 games. Now, Bug Snacks I have installed. Okay. So maybe the Bug Snacks is both? Yeah, it's both. Okay. Um, settings, controls, invert, ooh, invert Y, okay, okay, yep. I, I mean, I don't know how you would really, 
okay, well, you have to go buy it again. <laughs> It's on my purchase games list. I, I There's a, a million suggestions here, and it really should be straightforward from Sony if, if, in fact, it's a free upgrade. But if it's not a free upgrade, that's really not cool. Mike Bouchard, thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go play Bug Snacks tonight, so I won't spoil it for myself here. But enjoy the PS5, Vic. Thanks for coming, Cooper. It's good to see you, man. If we all send him a little, he we, we he can buy it again, guys. Keep up the good work, Vic. Uh, I I would absolutely buy it right now, but I've got it. I've ordered it. I've paid for it already. It's coming. Okay, this this is not. I mean, this looks fun and it looks cute, but I want to play this kind of on my own to kind of uh, talk about it. So let's check out uh, NBA 2K21, which is absolutely uh, a next gen experience. This is a PlayStation 5 game. You guys can check this out with me. Ooh, I have to turn the music off though because it's going to go big time into uh, into uh, copyright flag territory. Uh, the ultimate edition of Miles is 168 gigs because it's both games. It's all of um, it's all of the uh, 2018 uh, Spider-Man game, and then it's also the Miles Morales game. So it's a lot of game. Okay, um, I'm gonna just in case it gives off some. Oops, there we go. Just in case there's some private stuff in here, I'm just gonna. Okay, finished. Finished. You guys get to watch me click menus here. Okay. Jose, yes, that's most of the hard drive. Yeah. Definitely, man. Oops, what's going on there? Okay. Uh, settings. We want uh, music off. There we go. Oh, of course, Alpha Cat. Thanks for being here. I'm just uh, punching in my my details here. One second. This is <laughs> not fun video content here. One second. These games are a little too sophisticated. They want to know all your stats and details. One second. Um, let's see. All right, Sp spending five bucks to download the PS5 version. Oh, Sean Adkins, you're hilarious. Um, I turned the music off. There it is. Oh, there it is. Boop. Okay. All right, here we go. I have meant I have music. What's going on? I don't want the music on. I just turned it off. These video games. Off, off. Come on, man. Zombie Koei. Thank you. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Let's 
This is insane. I wish that it would just turn the music off. So I'm going to put the game on, but I'm not turning the audio on because I'll get a flag right away. So here we go. Uh, boop. Until I don't hear some music. Here we go. Oh, exit. No. I like this guy. Okay. I think I can get us in here a little bit quicker because I just did this on the Xbox. Boom. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to go into play now. And we're going to go quick play. And we are going to play some classic classic teams because this is this blows me away so we're going to play as the uh, 90s bulls and and uh, the lakers i think yeah the 90 91 okay oh uh sure that's great okay i don't know why the music is still rocking here Eric J, I think, I mean, you know, now they've, uh, good question, asking about the prospects of more uh, PS5s coming out. We're going to use Pro Stick timing. Uh, there will be more for sure. They, they've got the, um, y you know, the heat seekers out there, and they kind of had to suss out the, uh, I mean, they had to make enough, and then they had to, uh, you know, get them get them out to everybody. Seems pretty bright, doesn't it? I'm going to turn the, the brightness down. But they they got over the hill, and once they've got that, they can get a, an accurate count on, a fairly accurate count on demand, and that's when the factories all ramp up. So um, it, it'll probably take a couple of months. But Sony's got a pretty sophisticated uh, output, I think, because they do so much consumer electronic stuff. It will take them less time to, uh, to ramp up than it does um, Nintendo, probably even Microsoft, to be honest. Uh, because they sell so many different things. Can I adjust brightness? Options. Fatigue, camera shake. No, motion blur, commentary, no. I can't. Okay. Uh, how would I? It seems blown out, doesn't it? I'm going to go full screen for you because I've got it brighter a little bit on. I've got a filter that makes it a bit brighter. That seems a little less blown out. Nice. Yeah, baby. This is tough for me to watch on this screen because I've just been playing on the uh, 4K TV and it's unreal. I've, I've been playing it on the Xbox uh, Series X. This is such a gorgeous game. Oh, I'll turn the audio up for you. What about there. Okay. We won't play too long. I know I know not everybody's into the sports stuff. Uh Vic, what's the deal with the EPN pullover hoodie? Every time I click to buy it, I get sent to the t-shirts. Is that uh, on what on what site? Teespring or I know on one of the sites you just have to kind of click around in the menus and you find the the hoodie. Here's Johnson just taking it right to the rim and no one was there to greet him. Good question, Evil One. Was that Evil One? Yes, Evil One. Okay. Yeah, I'm not feeling any uh, bounce from the dual sense. Like I, I thought for sure it would have a. Uh, 
And I don't know if I've got it switched off or something. Oh, yeah. Opportunity, and he takes it up and lays it in. There's that passion if he is battling with every ounce Bill of energy right. he has. This is such a wicked game. It's so beautiful. Give me that. find his rhythm he's they should have done a last dance yeah, pack you know where you could just uh go through the the documentary a little bit and then play all the games that jordan talks about these triggers man i can't get can't get used to them can't get over them oh can't cash in the 10 footer jordan's gone one for three from the field here out to the right wing to the paint Get up there. Oh, I fouled him. He's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. All right, you get the idea. It's gorgeous. It's incredible. Um, it looks way better in 4K with HDR. This is just a little taste, but the, the visual fidelity, the sweat on the characters, the players, um, and all the, the cameos uh, that you'll see you know, beside the court and inside of the story mode and all that stuff. It's phenomenal. Um, it looks like the PS4 version only in that it is a 1080p stream. But you can really tell the difference when you, uh, uh, when you bump everything up to 4K and 60 frames. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, good, good comment there, Mike Banda. They did a, a Jordan Chicago legacy thing here. before. It's just awesome to have him in here. And of course, the uh, Black, uh, Black Mamba's all over this. There's lots of love for Kobe in this in this game as well. Oopsies. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. I mean, look at the emotion. So good. Oh, my God. I love it. All right, so I'll play more of that, and uh, I'll come back with some more thoughts and stuff on that. But... Um, that's pretty cool. You just press that and all these different cards pop up. I like that. Okay, let's go to the home. And uh, I wish I could just press the start button and check for update. Let's see. Latest version. Okay. What else can I do? Manage game content. Update. Manage game content. Maybe that's it. There's no game content you can install. Update history. doesn't say PS4 there, does it? Oh, it does, on the side. Okay. Oh, man, I really want to play this for you guys. And with you guys. Uh, NHL 21, 21 should be a thing there, for sure. You got burned! What a bummer on Sony's part. I asked them today, too. And they said, uh, it's it it's all good. You're going to be good. You're going to be playing the PS5 version of the game. I should have known it's not that simple. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'll, I'll adjust the uh, screen and video stuff here. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, video output. Oh, screen. Video output information. 60 hertz. Not supported. Resolution. Adjust HDR. No, none of that stuff. Um, but I can adjust the controllers and everything, right? I'll probably do that later. Um, is Did this download? No, it's queued. It's still queued. Okay. Uh, is that it? That's it. It's those. It's those games. Okay. It was really going to be Miles. Do you guys want me to play My Miles and uh, as a PS4 game, or do you guys want me to uh, figure it out and come back tomorrow with a PS5 game? Everything else is, you know, it takes some time to download. I didn't want to. I didn't want to put too many in the queue. Have you tried the remote play? Is that available? No, I haven't. Vic, try 
try uh, to buy the pullover hoodie. Oh, trying to buy the pullover hoodie. Vix pick uh, off the EN, EPN website. The hoodies that are made by, designed by humans. Evil one. I don't know what they did. I, I, I noticed that, that they took... Um, the zip-up hoodie that I normally get off. That's the one. I don't know if they ran into manufacturing issues. This year's nuts um, with zip with uh, zip hoodies. It's the one that I wear all the time, and I love it. I think I have one right right back here. Uh, oh, you can't see me. It's <laughs> it's the one that I wear all the time. The the EPN zip-up hoodie here. Um, but they took it off. I think you can still get the pullover hoodie, but you just got to find EPN on uh, the DBH uh, channel or the website or a channel um and you can find that so it'll be everything except it won't be the zip up or you can wait till zips are back in and i did mean to ask um designed by humans uh where those were because you know i i'm i'm clearly a fan i wear mine all the time um let's see i do have einhander but not on the playstation 5 uh, and all of these would take some time to download. So um, I've got uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I think, still downloading. Although it seems to have stopped. What's happening? Queued for download. Download it right now. Oh, because MBA is huge. It's 76 gigs. Um, let's pause that. And let's get... Ghost of Tsushima downloading, and then let's play a little bit of uh, PlayStation 4 Spider-Man <laughs> Miles Morales. I can't believe it. Uh, I could definitely see a PS5 Mini maybe in a year and a half. Smart delivery really was the best to transition between console generations. Kudos to Xbox. Andrew Spurrell. Um, yeah, Wesley West. Uh, uh, 2K21 is massive. Go for Ghosts. It's downloading. We'll see how long that takes. Um, I mean, I've got tons of, uh, of PS4 games that we can, we can chuck in here. Um, we're not really going to see the enhancements, right? Like the enhancements are all going to be a part of, unless they boost to 60 frames per second. Do you guys want to Google one that would be... Oh, man, there's so many mic bands. I've got to make a video of the best PlayStation 4 games and sort of like a sayonara to uh, this incredible machine. It's an amazing system, the PlayStation 4. Um, and the library got so damn good. But why don't you guys do a Google um, and see if, um, it, uh, you know, some uh, some PlayStation 4 games that are must... I, I heard that Ghost is. That's why I've got that queued up. There are must plays on the PlayStation 5. And I'll download one of those as well. Um, so let me know. And while while we Google that, somebody can Google that, we'll jump into Spider-Man. And uh, we'll play some Miles Morales. But this is it doesn't have quick resume. So we got to load it up again. Interesting. Sekiro, Sekiro is boosted. Yes, okay. Uh, Call of Duty, that's just the beta. I, there's, I think they're sending me physical on that. Uh, they asked for some details from me, and they, and and uh, I checked to see if there were any packages today. There is not. And Days Gone got a crazy boost. That's a massive game. Um, <laughs> EKM Beats, good to see you, man. It's good to see everybody that's brand new to the channel. I'm loving that when I stream, I get different people popping in all the time. So this is... Uh, uh, this is the PlayStation 4 version of Spider-Man, and what we have determined is that there is no uh, automatic upgrade. It doesn't, it doesn't go. Uh, it doesn't just automatically update. Um, so I, I don't like that. I think that sucks. So I, I'm definitely not happy about that. I'm going to ask Sony a little bit more about that um, because this should have automatically updated to the PlayStation 5 version as far as I'm concerned. I don't know how we would tell the difference, though, if we were playing uh, on uh, on PS5, though, or, or, or in, as I'm streaming here, because, uh, of course, I have to downscale everything to 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now, this is a 30 frames per second game, correct? Does this look like 30 to you guys, or did it auto-boost it to 60? I can't tell. Can you guys tell? I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, it looks really good. Hey, mom. 
It's 30? Looks 30? Okay. I guess I wouldn't be able to tell unless it was 60. But it still looks amazing. And I guess this is the way I've been playing it. This is the way I'm used to Spider-Man, so... Uh, and I normally don't sit so close to the TV when I play it, so... It looks good! This voice actor is wonderful. This is the way. I'll try to do some uh, some of the moves here. much fun. I forget what it is. What is it? It's... Is it this? Oh, that's it. So L1 and then it, you, okay. you do some uh, some moves with the uh, right thumbstick. Alright, here we go. Uh, wait a sec. Super Boo 85. Copy and pasted this. Okay, where, where, where did you write this? How are you drinking? Very, very careful. Select the upgrade offer to download the PS5 version. Note, you will need to log into the PS5 console with the same PlayStation Network account that you were using when you purchased the PS4 game. Okay. Big operation. It's gotta be. Hundreds of felons escaped from the raft last year. I'm gonna do all of that offline. Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Doc is in there? I think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion. I'm so good. Someone bigger. Okay, we got a problem. <laughs> That's awesome, XGR. Oh, it's crazy, crazy good, Dramega. It's a wonderful game. It looks gorgeous, it plays great. I mean it's it's running at thirty, which is not what we want, but it's still beauty. Basement gaming on the uh, is playing some bug snacks out there. Fantastic. Congrats to everybody that was able to get a PS5 today. I know it's been hard. You know, I used to complain about the way developers would put Rhino into games. Not anymore. Because it felt like I, w I did the same boss fight over and over again. I think it's because I'm sitting so close to the screen, but this looks amazing to me. I mean, maybe there's just a boost anyways, because it's, uh, 
It's I'm playing it on a PS5. There he is. Seriously, you're triple A easy. Hold your career, just wait for it. Man, he's too good. Scrolls, scrolls, you know the straight spider man. I can't believe I had Yuri Lowenthal on the uh, the channel just a few weeks ago talking about Prince of Persia. He's such a good guy. He's amazing, no pun intended. As are Peter Parker. Watch out there. Bonk. Boop. I am feeling, I am feeling like the uh, the motions and the movements in the in the controller, which is pretty cool. So cool. Go, go. This is like right out of the movie right here. <laughs> Total chaos. How's this for an opening sequence, guys? That was the Insomniac logo. This looks so amazing, doesn't it? Watch out for the baby! Oh my god! <laughs> He's very polite. Oh! <laughs> oh man. This is crazy. And there's J. Jonah Jameson. Isn't this incredible? <laughs> Thanks, Games R Us. He's got to have a talk with his mom here. Oh, he escaped. I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to follow. We have seen the interactive movie stuff before. Yes, we have. Uh, 2005 cool year. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I went the wrong way. The thing about this stuff, though, and, I, you know, I... I this is my kind of game. I love story-based experiences like this. But as a, a content producer, as a TV producer, that was, you know, making shows and pitching shows for my whole career, this is the kind of stuff that 
really captures people's attention as well, right? They look at something like this and they say, that's a video game? Oh my god. And, uh, you know, Naughty Dog's been doing that for years, Insomniac's been doing that for years now. I mean, it's a playable movie. It's incredible. This was a great idea. Thanks, I can't find anywhere to buy a PlayStation 5. You will, uh, a chapification. You definitely will. Oh, too soon to tell, 2005 cool year. I will tell you that it's been pretty rad to um, see all of the enhancements on um, older titles on the Xbox. And I have yet to experience a lot of that stuff with the PlayStation 5. And I thought for sure, this is the PS4 version of this game, I thought for sure that this would just auto-update to PS5. But I'm playing on a, uh, on a 1080p stream, so I don't know how much difference we really would have seen. I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't have seen HDR. We would have seen ray tracing, though, I think. And 60 frames. Feels very good. It does feel like it's more defined somehow, you know? Like, even though I played it on the PS4 Pro on the 4K TV, I was, you know, I was all, it was all new when I was playing it. I wasn't really analyzing the details. I was just getting into it. That's awesome. They're upgrading Days Gone and Ghosts and, and some other things. And if they're already in your archive, like, how would they make the mistake of this loading the PlayStation 4 version of this game? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. If they're already putting effort into making PS5 enhanced PS4 games, if this was a launch game that you had bought on PS4 by accident, let's say, and you loaded it up on your PS5, it should auto-know that. Uh, Uncle Jay, I am loving the new controller. It's very, very nice. I, I like the look of it. All of it is, is big and um, of the moment. I, I don't know how it's all going to age. This stuff might look kind of... Uh, you know, silly in a couple of years, but I I like the um, the bombast of this. You know, like Sony's like clearly celebrating something here. It's very showy, not subtle. <laughs> It never hurts to wait with games, for sure, and systems and consoles. It, you know, as a consumer, absolutely. The more you wait, the more features you get for less money. Um, but then you're kind of missing out on the today of it as well, you know? It's exciting to find pockets of joy like this. And a lot of people are incredibly happy today that they got their new 
PlayStation 5 or a couple days ago they picked up their new Xbox. And there's real value in that, you know. As we all know, life is short, right? And games have been a real source of, uh, of fun and escapism for people this year, more so than any other year. Incredibly important. Um, and, and I think culturally, uh, like, people are really aware of it, and they're, I think, you know, I'm a parent, I have an eight-year-old daughter, and, and she's obviously into games and stuff. She had no choice. Yes, she did. She had no choice. Uh, but I think that more and more people are, like, aware that games can be a connecting thing between kids, and they can have more than just a passive viewing thing. They can actually engage with it and use their minds and stuff, so I think a lot of parents are picking up on that. There's a lot of... Um, just excitement in all of this and it's it's fresh content you know for a lot of folks and we, we don't have movies we still have a lot of shows and streaming things but it's a very different year for entertainment done when the ps5 becomes a black model everyone is going to want it hmm uh, did you play the first Spider-Man? All the villains' costumes are more tech-based. Yes, of course. Oh, you're asking somebody. Am I going to get Godfall for PS5? I've asked for it. Uh, I assume I will. I played a little bit of that yesterday on um, PC. It was pretty fun. And um, I've asked Sony for Demon Souls, so I'll, I'll uh, play some of that when I get that. And uh, the Sackboy game as well. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. That's cool. He's such a badass character. He really, you know, holds his own, and he's got a, a different vibe and different abilities. He's amazing. I'm punching him in the butt. Get him! And the finisher is ready. Let's heal. Woo! Okay. Come on, man. Uh oh There we go. <laughs> uh oh. Get out of the way. Sweet. At the, uh, the the Adidas Jordans right there, which is pretty cool. Venom Punch, that's right. Insanely beautiful game, right? So freaking cool. A day one elect play watcher, Vic. You've always been entertaining. Glad I came across the stream today. That's amazing. Is this your first time a chapification? First time hitting the channel? That's awesome. This guy looks better. This definitely looks better than it did on uh, on my 4K on uh, PlayStation 4 Pro when I was playing it over there. There's a solidity to this, so there is an enhancement even to the code of the PS4 game. Even though I'm not playing. Thank you. 60 frames per second, it also looks sharper on this. I don't know if it's a patch that came up, but I noticed that about that character in particular. It's played by Troy Baker, by the way. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not cross the shoe stream. Adidas and Jordans are different. I know, but they're, they're, it's clearly a retro take on the classic red and black Jordans there, uh, Jose, which I had, by the way. <laughs> the originals, the OGs, wore them in high school. Everybody thought I was very flashy in my red and black Jordans. 
clear out. He does look like Toe for Grace, doesn't he, John Boko? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I do believe in the future we're going to get a multi Spider Man multiplayer experience. Maybe this gets patched, by the way. Hey, look. What game is Troy Baker not in, Corey Nolan? Tomorrow? Yeah, this looks better. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to tell you, I'm not going to be around for the next few weeks. This does look better. No. Uh, MJ's headed overseas for the bugle and requested me as her photographer. Kind of a working vacation for us. Y y I'll really be able to tell when I'm playing it on the 4K TV. Look, I don't know if I'm ready to fly solo. I screwed up today big time with the helicopter. But then you delivered big time. You saved my bacon, Miles. I got lucky. Hey, Jose Sanchez, yeah, he wore Jordan's. Well, it's a deal, man. It's a deal. It's pretty cheeky of Adidas to make them, though, because they're so universal, you, you know, universally acclaimed and known as uh, a, a, a Nike endeavor. Kenneth Crawley, Victor, I'm going to get a PS5 once the price comes down, maybe in uh, July 2021 for your birthday. That seems like a very good plan, my friend. By that point, there will be tons of new games out there, and all of the quirks and bugs and, you know, the little things that, that happen whenever you launch new hardware will have all been worked out. And probably get be able to get different versions, too. You might be able to get a Spider-Man version of this uh, PlayStation 5, which would be amazing. Can the PS5 fit in Tommy's pants? I'll tell you something, 2005 cool year. Tommy could fit in the PlayStation 5. And when I see him next time in real life, I'm going to see if I can squeeze him into here. Yuri Lowenthal's a gem. Absolutely, Blade Blur. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to pop this off because I'm sure there's going to be a copyright flag on that. All right. Super cool. I, I just had Tommy on the uh, in Vic's basement. We just did an interview. It was fantastic. I'm just excited because I skipped the PS4 Pro, so everything should take a, look a whole lot better. Absolutely, Jose. You're going to get all kinds of incredible enhancements. Apparently, Fortnite looks awesome on PlayStation 5. Huh, Peter? I'll check it out. Okay, so I've got the skill tree. So we're going to... Um, this is taking you right to the beginning here. This is funny because when I do have the PS5 game going, I'm going to play through all that again. So that'll be the third time that I'll have played through the opening of uh, Miles Morales. And I'm all good with that. I love that opening. Okay, I'm going to turn the music off because I think there's going to be uh, some more um, licensed stuff. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'll put the music or the audio back on. Fall over your floor. So he's talking with Genki, his bear. buddy. Oh, perfect. Dip over to the amphitheater. Got something to show you. Dude, is this spider related? Please tell me you got a piece of rhino's horn or something. Picks I've seen of the fight are straight up nuts. There we go. Definitely Woo! Than a horn. Oh, yeah. The, the Verse suit is unbelievable. It almost changes the whole game once you get that. It just feels so fresh. It, this does look better. It's crazy. It does look better. There's something about it. <laughs> oh yes. Woo. Lovely. So good. All 
All right. Uh, waiting for PS5 next year, maybe a black version. How big is it, Vic? Well, let's see. This, this would be the part where Tommy would make fun of my the size of my head. F you, Tommy! Uh, it's about that. Dude, put it on. I'll cover you. It's big. It's like a robot buddy. Um, what, what can I show you for scale? What? What would, what would everybody have? I'll grab the switch. The one park? second. Okay. How's it looking? Whoa. Congratulations yeah. and welcome to your very first super suit. That's the switch in front, right beside the, the PS5. PS5 would just eat the switch. <laughs> and spit it right back out right there. Look at that. About that big. I've got my Series X all hooked up, so I don't want to unplug everything. I was gonna go and grab a bunch of a bunch of things, but we're playing games today. All right, let me pop these back in so I can hear it. Uh, take it easy, uh, take it easy, Sam. I am one one one. Do you ever worry that Tommy would create an anonymous account to troll you on live streams? I don't. I don't I, that guy doesn't really do anonymous, so I think he'd want to know that he was and everybody to know that he was trolling me. Bell forces you to pay stupid crave to get HBO. It's criminal. Oh, you're complaining about stuff there, Las Vegas. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I've unlocked a new suit. So this is this is. Part two of this amazing gift. So this is uh, this is the first like kid spider suit that I get. This is the movie Into the Spider Verse, and we have to get it until level thirteen. You level up pretty quickly, though. This is only half of the present. Well, what's the other half? I'll let you know when I find it. Does it have a disc drive? Yeah, I got the disc version. I, I'm probably only ever gonna have. Uh, I'm probably only ever gonna have one disc game, unless the Call of Duty thing that Activision is sending me is also a disc-based game, which would be cool. Uh, but uh, I, I bought. PS5 Miles Morales, but of course Amazon's late with it. It was supposed to be here today, but not here today. It'll be here on Sunday. So I mean, I'll I'll compare them. That's what I got to do anyways, right? This is the beginning of covering PlayStation 5. This is like the first moments of it. I've never done that before, you guys. I've I've covered five of these freaking consoles. I've never opened it up and played it with you in real time before. It is really cool to be able to do that. It's amazing. That's kind of blowing my mind. Vic and Tommy's like video game Kenny and Spenny. <laughs> That's hilarious. I actually met uh, Kenny, and he's a fan of EP. He used to watch our show all the time, which was really cool. And I've watched their hijinks. Those guys are crazy. That's pretty funny. I think we get along a lot better than Kenny and Spenny, actually, Tommy and I. Honestly, how often do I... Hardly ever. I, I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 because I wanted the collector's edition on that or the special edition or whatever it was, and I knew that was going to be a special game. Um... I'm more of a digital guy, and I, de I definitely thought about getting the digital version of the PlayStation 5. That's why I feel like... Okay, so what do I have to do? Not that. Right, these are the training modes that Peter leaves for me here. I am a Hot Toys guy. Did you see the... I did see Dromega. I saw the Miles Morales Hot Toys. I want it so bad. They've gotten outrageously expensive, though. When I was collecting them, I have a couple of awesome ones. Hold on. You guys get get a little toy treat today. One sec. Hollow training? Oh, I am so down. Okay. 
been too busy to dust. But this is uh, the Hugh Jackman Wolverine from not a great movie, from the Wolverine movie. Uh, oop, not that. I always do that. Full screen right there. But a pretty damn cool suit, right? Doesn't it look awesome? Hot Toys is the best. But when I when I was collecting them, <laughs> I have to dust. Uh, when I was collecting them, they were like 170 bucks or something like that, and they would edge up to about 200. But now they're like easily 300, 350. They're crazy. That's that's one of them. I, I got a bunch. I'll I'll do a toy thing later. All right, I got one, I got one more for you. This one's crazy. This is the Mandarin, Ben Kingsley. And I loved the take on the character. Such a freaking cool idea that he was, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Iron Man 3, that he was uh, an actor and just sort of playing the role. And he just clearly had an incredible time with it. I've got some dust and stuff on this thing uh but i just love this figure it's so cool it's a ben kingsley action figure i i just love that this got made and of course only the geniuses at hot toys could make something like that okay all right here we go. okay i put that one. all right okay yeah one day i'll do a whole a whole toy thing but we got games to play we got playstation 5 to play here we go picture in picture bam we're spidey in the new suit uh they 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 have always been expensive the hot toys thing for sure um but now they're crazy expensive now they're they cost a fortune because everybody knows how awesome they are and how premium they are i actually love the mezco 112 line uh, because they're kind of like mini hot toys, and they're not cheap either. They're they're they hover at a, at or just over a hundred bucks, but there's so much cool detail in those figures, and they're smaller, so you don't they don't take up all of your shelf space and everything too, right? So you can have at, at Toy Fair every year. I love Toy Fair. It's one of my favorite things to go to, and it's such a drag that that uh, all of that stuff just seems so. Um, unattainable these days uh, but I always have a great time at Toy Fair but Mezco uh, always puts together one of the coolest displays around their 112 line and I love it I'm, I'm also a huge fan of NECA they make some excellent stuff too like they have the uh, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Turtles in Time there's a whole collection there I do have I think is it the mm, M is it Math FX or something like that? I have a I have the Peter Parker Spider Man, which I love, and I have the not great um, uh, Miles Morales action figure from uh, Spider Verse, but I definitely do want the Hot Toys Miles. I I, I would love it, and I would love the. Uh, the Hot Toys Spider-Man game in the action suit or whatever it's called as well. That would be pretty awesome. Or the toy in the action suit. Okay. So this is this is training you up and then you, um, it, you know, we're, we're in, uh, in uh, uh, sort of training mode right now. Okay, hold to disarm this guy. Okay. Okay. Bless Peter Parker. Now let's combine these two moves. Okay. Yeah, the SH figure arts figures, those are great too. Yeah, I think that might be what I have. I might have the, the, the Spider Man. Hold on, I'll grab it. It should be out here. It's awesome. One second. So that's Miles from the movie. 
probably tip him over. And there's the... Uh, it's pretty small next to the gigantic PlayStation 5, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let me go full screen at least so you can see the... Uh, there you go. I think I, I bought this in Japan last year. <sighs> Got some dust on there too. I've been too busy playing games. I should dust more. Uh, but I bought this in Japan. They had a whole SH figure. I guess it was a Bandai store, and they had all these cool figures. I picked up Johnny a, a Boba Fett, and I just gave it to him like two weeks ago when I, when I borrowed some games from him. And this is the not great Miles Morales figure from, uh, from the movie. So they they definitely need to make cooler mile stuff, and it sounds like all that stuff is coming. Okay, it does. <laughs> I I like the look of the PlayStation Five. I've got it all plugged in, so I don't want to move it around. I'll knock my figures over too. So let's jump into picture in picture, and we're gonna hold an air launch, do an air launch, and then we're gonna yank down the enemies. Make sure you practice the listed move. I did, didn't I? Is that it? No. Oh. So slick. Super cool. I just read today that LG is working on hologram display technology. They've, they've invested billions of dollars into it, so our, our future phones are probably going to look like this, guys. Uh, Jazzadrin, Vancouver is kind of... It's one of the best places on Earth, for sure. It's pretty incredible here. I do spend a lot of my Vancouver time in this basement, though. This has been a weird year, and I sure miss the actual reviews on the run that I've been doing for 25 years, you know, running around, going outside, finding locations. Um, but I don't do that that much right now because it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of sending out the wrong message. Life is not normal, and, and the more that we kind of stick close to home, the better, you know? So I'm, I'm aware of that. And also, I don't want to be around people when I shoot. But I always, I always dig the getting outside element of it because what we do is so sedentary and is so indoors, you know. And and it's kind of uh, it's a it's a nice break. I do love that a lot of my comments on the outdoor reviews that I've shot over the years on YouTube um, are like, "What, well, dude? Why why are you outside? It's like you're you're doing the news. It's like you're like a reporter live on the scene." <laughs> I always get a kick out of that. All right, so here we go. I never did run during the reviews. I've suggested it, and then I've had camera operators go, "No, you didn't. You don't don't want to do that, dude." I, I have gone out. Actually, I've got one of those stabilizer things, and I've gone out with a uh, with a phone camera, which are actually really good these days, and you know, walked and talked, and. You can pull it off for a bit, but within, especially because I get animated and I get excited talking about things, and then eventually it becomes um, uh, very breathy. 
And what you hear is, and then I like to do the double jumps. And then, so I don't know if people would dig that too much. Uh, and wearing a mask outside. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to be standing in front of people or around where you could see people in the background and I wasn't wearing a mask. I think that would be weird too. I'd, it just feels like the wrong kind of video content to put out there. So I, I have made the conscious choice to stay within like an eight foot area you know, or a 12 foot area and, uh, just make all the stuff down here. Uh, 90. Yeah. Resumes on the run. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of zooms on the run these days. Vic loves all these Arkham type controls. They drive me nuts. Uh, Peter Kokosor. I, I love the controls in this. Okay. What am I doing? I'm going to the moves list. Okay. I see him groovy. Where's Scott? Scott's in uh, Toronto. He moved to Toronto, and he's a consultant in the games biz, and he's a podcaster, and he's uh, getting more and more integrated with the um, uh, production world out there. It's a good place to, to be to um, source up all kinds of contacts and, and uh, you know, try some new things. And Scott's always been a guy that, like, he moved to Vancouver from New York City, but he lived in Chicago, uh, and he's lived in a bunch of cities over the in his in his life and through his career, and he likes that. I think he likes the adventure of it. We do talk every once in a while, and I know he misses Vancouver, and and uh, I miss him, and he misses me, and we we certainly uh, always reminisce about the the wonderful time that we had making stuff together. We're both very proud of our partnership, and uh, who knows. Life is long, and, and the road is, is winding and twisty, so you never know. Andrew says, fun to see what surface the review was projected on. Ah, oh, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, that was always a, a joyous part of making reviews on the run, was just to kind of have fun with all of that. It started, the whole concept started uh, right in Jose's neck of the woods. Uh, in San Mateo, there was a drive-in theater, and we were driving by it on the on the way to one of the game companies down there in the Bay Area. And I saw the drive-in, and I said, "Dude, we should shoot there, and shoot the review there, and we could pretend to like project the the game content on the screen behind us, and we'll and we'll call it reviews on the run. We'll find new locations every week on the show." And I was with Tommy and uh, Scott Barrett, who was the director at that time. And, and we all like that idea. And it just seemed to fit. Sometimes you have ideas that are, uh, they just feel like permanent, like they were always there. And you just sort of dug the, the dirt around them and then you, they, you uncovered them, you know? And that, that always just felt like a natural fit. Much easier than coming up with a name for Electric Playground. That, that took me... Uh, I actually wrote out a hundred different names on a piece of paper. And that's my advice to anybody that's conceiving of things is like to write it all down. Uh, but when you're coming up with a brand or a name for something, write down a hundred ideas and you will find the one. You will find the thing. I did that for the business that I wanted to create too. I wrote down a hundred different ideas for different businesses and I ended up with a television show about the video game industry. I didn't know then though that I was also building a production company. The production company was really, and they're two different things. A thing you make and a production company are two different things. This all looks much cleaner on the PS5. That and a quarter will get you a game of asteroids. There you go, Jose. Get ready for a planet powered by Newform. Uh, Chris Yates, yes. Johnny and I talk about it all the time. We, we, it's been a year since I hung out with almost a year. It will be a year because we went to go and see Rise of Skywalker at LucasArts, Lucasfilm. And uh, so we went down to, to San Francisco together and then he got really sick after that trip. And then um, found out around that time or just after that time that, that he was that his wife was pregnant and they were going to have a baby and and so all of that stuff has transpired in in uh in 2020 and this pandemic i've seen him in person once to go and borrow games and i have to go and see him again because i got to get him back to i got to get back get them back to him 
Uh, the studio's still there. It's at, it's at the uh, Vancouver Film School, and, and you know, I talk with... I, I'm working with the Vancouver Film School again next month, but it'll be from my basement. And uh, uh, we're definitely talking about doing different things together, but it's got to be safe, you know? Like... Oh, and the other small studio space that we had that we were making uh, EP content out of is now storage for our archive. So it's filled with tapes, which all need to get digitized. And I'm working on that, guys. Working on a plan. Oh, I'm down. Okay, I don't want to play too much more of this because uh, a lot of people are, are getting this with the PlayStation 5s because this is the launch game to get. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um... This is, uh, Lee, this is the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So it's running at 30 frames per second. Uh, I was told from Sony today that it would auto-update to PlayStation 5, and it doesn't. And we haven't been able to figure it out. If there is somebody that knows, if there's some magical thing that we have to do, um, this is part of the same account that I played it all on. I didn't enter a new code. It's the game I played. So I downloaded it, and it's the PS4 game. And I don't know how to update it. Whatever happened to Julie Stouffer, Becky Maspeth, Nazanin from EP? Uh, well, Julie I've kept in touch with, and she's, she makes games, and she's got uh, a few kids, and she lives in California. And uh, she's got an amazing life going. Um, and she's always a joy to have on the show. Becky I have not heard from since that season. Uh, but I'm sure she's doing doing well out there. And Nazanin married a, um, well, she's had a very uh, political life and a political career. You should Google Nazanin. I'm not quite familiar with everything that she's uh, been involved with, but she's from Iranian descent, and I think she had a lot to do with uh, connecting with her roots. And then she got married to um, a, a politician, and so she's her life is in politics these days. Las Vegas, hey Vic, how do you find time to stay active during times when so many games come out, or do you just park yourself for the time being like the rest of us? That's a great question, Las Vegas. Um, because of COVID, um, we've stuck close to home. Uh, we do get out for hikes and walks somewhat, uh, but it always weirds me out if there's a ton of people in the area and nobody's got masks on, which I, th I think people take it a little too cavalier in our area. Um and I'm a news junkie, right? So it's not really healthy for me to like dive into all of that stuff, but I do. And so I'm cognizant of it. And I, I don't like my family to be inhaling the same air of, of a lot of people out there. And a lot of the parks and stuff get pretty filled up, especially on sunny days. So we do get out there a little bit. We, we need to do more of that. Uh, but we also do, uh, you know, off the screen um, uh, workouts and stuff. Jose got us hooked up on uh, T25. And we've been doing T25 this year, um, off and on. Some some days it's harder than others. And honestly, last night I've been staying up so late playing Xbox Series X stuff every night till like one, and then I've been getting up at seven in the morning and getting ready and uh, you know get playing more and get doing things to kind of prep to uh, do all of these Vix Basement live things. But last night, after we after I streamed, I played a little bit more stuff and and uh, I passed out at eight. I was like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. And I slept till uh, six in the morning today, but I needed that sleep. Um, but uh, yeah, we, H Jose, we do a little of the T25. It worked wonders for this man. Uh, he became a, a, a real evangelist for the uh, the platform. And it, it's actually, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you th though, I'm very interested to check out the Apple fitness stuff that they've got coming up. Uh, they're launching it soon, and it's all tied to your watch and your iPads and your Apple accounts and stuff. It's all video stuff, but they've got information up on screen because everything's censored and tracking you. It's like it feels like the perfect, uh, you know, formula for our COVID realities right now, where your computers on your body are tracking everything and you're getting the readouts right away. Um, so what did I? I wanted to play uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Did that get installed? Is that far enough? No, not quite yet. Will it play? No, nope, still downloading. 74%. Okay, well, let's check out Bug Snacks for a minute, and then we'll jump into uh, into Ghost for a second here as well. So, um, uh, Colin McDonald, honestly, this is my first two hours with this machine. So I've, I've put in 
I'll, I'll tell you how much I've played Xbox Series X. I've had to change the batteries on my Xbox Series X controller two times since we got it. And uh, so I've been playing a hell of a lot. Uh, let's play some bug snacks. I do love the quick resume on, uh, on Xbox Series X when you bounce between games. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Eric C., uh, uh, working conditions in the gaming industry such as working hours, release crunches, toxic working environments, is, is it getting better or just being swept under the rug? It's definitely getting better. It's definitely being discussed a lot more. I know a lot of devs that have been in the game business for a long time and they work five days a week and uh, they've got, you know, kind of 40 hour work weeks. Crunches are going to happen, um, but I think if there is some real um, uh, communication around how this stuff gets handled and compensation around that stuff, the, the way that stuff gets handled. Um, you know, and also recognizing that not everybody can do crunch and stay healthy. But yeah, I've seen some huge strides in, in uh, you know, awareness about mental health and physical health for developers. But it's a creative medium, just like the movie business and the TV industry and the visual effects and the animation industries. And um, there are issues in all of those means of expression because the desire to blow our minds is so huge and it just takes a tremendous amount of work. There's, there's really no getting around it. You can't turn it into a factory. It's not like people are just cranking on levers and, and uh, some stuff comes down a conveyor belt. So, although I know some of you are saying sports games do that. Um, but I, I think the uh, the companies are aware that if they don't keep their people healthy and they don't make their culture healthy, they may have success once, but it's going to be harder and harder to replicate. And there's a lot of choice for developers. And the games industry is about to balloon again, you know? There's all these different outlets and uh, you know there, there's a, a competitive thing happening in the vr space there's a competitive thing happening in mobile in consoles in streaming and all of that those different machines those different uh output mechanisms require input and so there's a lot of opportunity if you've got the hustle and the talent to uh you know p find the work where you want to work and so people have to get competitive in what not just financially but in in the other ways that they treat their employees. Uh, so yes, it's going to get it's getting better, and it will only continue to get better. How does the PlayStation Five feel in my hand? Does it feel like a newborn baby? Uh, the machine itself, honestly, I pulled it out of the box so quickly and set it up so quickly. It was just like, okay, it's here. And I, you know, we've all seen pictures of how big the thing is. So I wasn't shocked. It was like, okay, it actually looks smaller than I was expecting it to because everybody's been yakking about how big it is this is the weirdest year that we had no hands-on no awareness hadn't seen it didn't touch any of these games no e3 nothing it's just like until you get it you don't know what this thing is going to feel like or be like but it's here i don't know what's happening in the game so foobs you're gonna have to tell me what's going on ps5 is is my co-host right here along with peter parker miles morales Yeah, Wisperienced, I mean, that's that's the truth of it, you know? Like, all forms of employment should be fairer to everyone. Um, it will be interesting to see how we get, we sort of ramp out of COVID and if there will be new abuses based on people pushing that you're lucky to have this job. Yeah, we're in for some... We're, we're in for some heavy lessons, and I think all we can do is, like, have... Uh, uh, I don't know, real empathy for people out there, you know? Are, we're all going through something, you know? Right now, especially, we always have a lot of stories that are unraveling right now and, and uh, lots of fear. So, yeah, we have to be kinder to each other for sure and have real empathy. And, and that's going to be our secret to navigating out of this mess, uh, you know, hopefully starting next year. Why don't you believe in bug snacks? I do. Okay. 
uh, uh, what do you know about Lisbert? <laughs> what the hell I'm asking? I don't know what's happening. She's got a little famous after stumbling across. Him. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, retro. Thank you, brother. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. The coming decade's going to be something. Get the popcorn ready well, once a YouTube, yeah. It is a tantalizing story. Say you get an interview with her and make it... Now get going. You, you and know, try not to fall I don't want to get political. I don't want to use this as politics, but it is going to be refreshing to have, uh, you know, a U.S. president that's sort of about bringing people together as opposed to sort of focusing on division. Um, which worked very well for that man, but uh, I don't know. I think we need. I think we all need to get along now. You know, not not squabble. All right. So let's get Philbo up. What are you doing, Philbo? Is that you? This is hilarious. Look at these characters. My kid is gonna love this game. Too bad I'm dying though. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I for you, but uh, I got hungry and I couldn't catch any bug snacks. That's... All right, let's go. Oh, well, where is Lisbert? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Uh, I'm good to see you back doing what you do. Uh, is OLED a good match for the new consoles, man, Scott? Uh, it has been. I have been absolutely floored by Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla on the Xbox Series X um, in 4K at 60 frames per second. It is staggeringly beautiful, so gorgeous. And I, you know, noticed the ray tracing in uh, um, Watch Dogs Legion when I went back to the upscaled version of that or the 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 Series X version of that. Um, and I, this is day one with this, so this has not even been hooked. I, I hooked this up with you guys. We are engaging in PlayStation 5 together as a family, as a team. And uh, so I have not hooked this up to 4K. I don't even know how this looks on my, my OLED. Uh, but I've got another OLED that's coming from LG, the newer one, that goes up to 120 uh, frames per second. I reached out and I said, look, I've got these new machines coming that are all you know better than what my TV is because my TV is from 2016. And it does 4K 60, um, but I want to check this out and the Xbox out at 4K 120, and uh, so I'll test that and I'll compare the new OLED to uh, OLED that's not that old, but it's it's a few years old. But honestly, my advice on TVs is to just chill for a minute because even if I love, I think it's the CX that I'm going to be looking at. Uh, even if I love it. Like, we know in, within months there's going to be TVs out there that are going to really take advantage of uh, uh, what these new machines are doing. And my guess is Sony's got something up its sleeve right now. This game is free on PlayStation Plus, is that right? I'm loving uh, Valhalla, 8-bit Ness, and it, it, it's like it's like Origins and Odyssey for sure, but you're a Viking. Um, it is huge, and, uh, y you know, there's some... There's definitely a lot of traipsing al across massive patches of ground, but it's... You know what? It's, it's one to kind of savor and just get in there for a while and enjoy it, and the level of detail is out. Outrageous. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. But I have enjoyed Ghost of Tsushima more from what I've played so far of Valhalla. But it is a, it is a true work of art. Okay, a bush that's... that's A bush that smaller bug snacks can hide in. Okay, larger bug snacks will bounce off and scare out whatever's inside. Okay, so it's a hiding bush. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing in this game, guys. I don't know who's played this. They can walk me through it. Vic, I'm watching vids lately where people are playing NES and SNES hacked games. Do you ever play any? And do you have an opinion on those? I think it's fun. I think that's part of the community, right? Like, people have take, taken a lot of this old code and, and uh, uh, tweaked it. Um, I, I am a huge fan of retro games and going back. And I've become more so over the last few years. Um, 
And I, I like that, that kind of content. Like, I love Digital uh, Foundry DF Retro, and I, I love GameSack. Um, Johnny talks a lot about the retro stuff all the time, too, at, at Happy Console Gamer. I love all that stuff, and I've started to do a little bit more of it, too. So, yeah, it's super fun. And I'll be back with um, side-scrolling superhero pieces soon, which is my retro superhero stuff. Oh, I just came from this guy, didn't I? Hi, Philbo. You should get up, buddy. So, he has to go out, and then I scan from over here. I see it. Got you. All right. Got you. Got you, Strabby. Is this like Pokemon Snap? Oh, okay. What's the what is this game? I'm good, be... McPhee forever. Well, you aren't me anyway. <laughs> uh, the Zelda Link favorite? to the Past randomized is awesome. Snapchat. That's cool. I got a lot of people that follow EPN that are that come into the chat that know lots about uh, classic gaming and stuff, and it's always really fun to talk with them. The best chat on the internet. TM. Trademark. Okay, you don't have a snack trap selected. Hold L1 and point it, point. Okay, boom. So I'm trying to get these little guys? Why? Oh, so it's not like Pokemon Snap. Activate it. Oh, I see. So when it goes out, so it's hiding. Nice. Got you. Do I eat it? I got one! I got a trophy, guys! Five point five six four four out of ten. Thanks, Tommy. Okay, where do we go here? Hey! Phil... Philbo. Feed you, buddy. There you go. This is very cute. Oh, yes. What happened to your arm? Uh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. What? I could use maybe They become bug the bugs? I'm sure that scope of yours kind of creepy. Handy. Pie Skin out of 10. And plan, I always say. <laughs> McPhee forever. Do I get nostalgic for for those days? I think about my team. I think about working with all the awesome people that I've been able to work with, and I miss that. We we had 40 people working on Electric Playground and reviews on the run at at at, a, at one time for many years, actually. And uh, it's it, it sucks that that doesn't really exist right now because we did something special with all those people, and we're all aware of it. And um, I think Foobs is in the chat still. I think he'd back me up on this. We we. Uh, we know how fortunate we were, and uh, we we know how much fun we had. It was great to be able to collaborate on stuff. What happened? What are you doing? Give me my trap back. What are you doing? So I, I don't I don't miss the the G4 days or the network. I mean, it was it was awesome to be associated with all those networks, but it's the people. Working with the folks that, you know, I and, and other members of my team were able to kind of bring into the fold, you know? I started to feel like Papa Vic, man. It, it always blew my mind when... Uh, uh, I started to feel like a dad before I became a dad, but it would always blew my mind that this, this idea that I had, you know, and through the help of my wife and then all the people that I worked with, we were able to grow it into something that allowed people opportunities. I remember Foobs went to Rome and he took the uh, uh, Ezio Auditore action figure and he went all to all these different Roman um, locations and took, shot some video for a piece. I don't know what the heck is going on. And uh, it just brought me so much joy that people got to have these adventures through EP, you know? And I, I didn't know any of that when I started this thing. I was... Um, I, I was just hopeful that there would be a show, you know? And then it ended up becoming a... a, a, a thing that really resonated. And I'm very proud and very happy that I got that opportunity. And I'd, I'd love to do more like that, but... Uh, Obviously, it's an investment, and I have to have the right partner or partners involved to be able to do that. 
And if I have that, then I will find awesome people and we will make awesome things. Come on now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I have to jump up and grab it? Foobs, help me out here. What do I do? Retrieve it. Ah, did I just destroy it? Oh, I, okay. I see. Did I get him? Nope. Okay. So he's... They have to be walking around a little bit. I get it. Oh, come on. Gotcha. All right. That's cool. A Rudel! <laughs> this is super cute. I don't know how different it would be on a PS5 compared to the PlayStation 4. Um, okay, what do I do? Oh, I have to catch three here. I get it. And then something will unlock. Is there another one? So he's going to get a carrot arm. I did play uh, Astros, yes. Oh, thank you, McPhee. So he's got a peg leg out of a carrot. Okay. It's kind of a twisted experience, this. Okay. Let's see. So I'm looking for little bug snacks. Is there anything? There's this guy. Okay, so can I throw that up there? Maybe I can get up there? Let's see. I can jump. Nice mittens, Vic. Thank you. Who said that? Hi there said that. Good to see you. Hi there. Uh, oh, there's one over there. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, what happened? Oh, this guy again. Get this. Come on, how come it doesn't catch him when he's when he's got it up there? This seems like a game your daughter would play more than you, uh, evil one. A little bit right now, yeah. I broke it before. this guy over here. There we go. Come on, little strawberry. Alpha cat. Gotcha. Okay, I got two now. Alright. Let's go feed this guy. Give him another arm. There you go. You're looking creepy, Philbo. Come on, little carrot. Let's go. Nightmares, Matthew Winstone, yes. Bring Rudel back to Philbo, and he'll have two legs that are carrots. This will give you guys nightmares, I promise. Awesome. 
Look at that. You are a lifesaver, buddy. Sorry, I was. Hey, Vic, does the uh, PSVR work myself. with PlayStation 5? Yes, it does. Uh, Sapander uh, Goujini. Uh, you need to um, get a dongle from a a Sony, question, though. But, uh, and I think it's free. And then you hook up all of the, the, the stuff that you already own to it. <coughs> um, oh, oh, you got the film. I know who you are. As Britt said, you'd become. Uh, still. Okay, let's see. Uh, still downloading. It's only at 74. It's like stopped. Did I fill up the hard drive? All right, let's. Follow Philbo to Snacksburg. Hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed uh, to take you can home, set it on its side. I'm not going to, though, right but you can. Uh, you have to take the stand, which is right down here. You have to take that off and then put it on underneath the machine uh, in a different way. It's a little bit... Um, a little bit confusing, but I like it standing up like this. This is the way it's going to go. Ah, Las Vegas. Listen to your wife. Why are you so sad, Philbo? I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her inner. Ready to go, buddy? All right. My Through kid's going to love this game. Yeah. Garden Grove. Well, I'm not going to speak for Ruby, actually. She can make up her own mind, but it, it does look like she would dig the cutesiness of it, for sure. David Jaffe? I should have him in Vic's basement. I like that guy a lot. He always has something fun to say. Hey, Who said that? It's 2005 Aww. cool year. <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Still going, yep. Let's Don't compliment Vic for still looking with? late 30s. <laughs> Thank oh. you, Andrew says. You rock, man. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbeth around to catch bug snacks, oh, no, I gotta keep us all fed. Let's see if I can turn this without uh, destroying anything. We can't just eat ketchup. It well, is the nothing. You Disc want us to die out here? No, no, but uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town. Call this one quits. Take it easy, I Andrew. Don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. What? <laughs> this game. <laughs> this game's an acid trip. A hamburger just just butted me off of the. Out of the Stranger, garden. I could use your help. It's cr crazy. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Okay. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my sauce slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. What did he just say to me? What What the hell just happened? This is crazy. Okay, so bunger, come with me. I'm gonna need you to come over here, bunger. Press on nearby sauces to collect to pick them up. Where are the sauces? There are eyeballs in that dirt. This is a weird freaking game. I'm gonna have weird dreams tonight. Oh, there, there's a ketchup plant right there. And this must be a mustard plant. Right. Gotcha. Of course this... And Bunger says Bunger. Okay, come on, Bunger. Where are we going? We're going into the pen. Where's the pen? Over this way. Come here. Bunger? <laughs> oh my god, this is surreal. Come here, buddy. And then right there, and then right there, and then in you go. Yeah. Woo. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. Okay. Hey, Crisco, good to see you. Uh, barcode teacup, this game is. A drug influence for sure. Hey, Vic, from across the country, Quebec, right on, Ryan Whiskey. Uh, Casey. 
Casey, yeah, I think Casey, yeah. Matthew Winston, which console do you like better so far, Crisco? Too soon to tell, man. Just, uh, or, or woman, I'm not sure. I, I just loaded this sucker up today. This is the first time I've put hands on on the PlayStation 5. It just arrived, I'm playing it for the first time in 1080p. And uh, we've got uh, Timmy is from California, Scotiafornia. <laughs> and Grover Munster is back. Good to see you. Grover Munster is my favorite. Um, okay, so flavor falls wrong way. There's no need to go this way. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see if... Uh, oh, these guys worked on Octodad. That explains some things, Corey Nolan. Which controller do I like better? I think this is a pretty cool controller, you guys. And it's new, and I knocked over Miles. Um, whereas the... I think I'm going to unplug for a bit because it's been charging. The Series X controller has been wonderful as well, but it doesn't feel like a reinvention. It feels like an evolution. This feels quite revolutionary, which I dig. Um, let's check out on the uh, Ghost of Tsushima download. Let's see how that's been going here. If it's not getting any further, oh, we're at 81%. You know what? I think we're we're gonna leave it there. I think we're gonna leave it there, because uh, ghost is a thing. Like we'll be jumping into this, but I'm coming back tomorrow. So I probably be around the same time, around three o'clock, if not a little bit earlier, and we will do the same thing. I'll have some more PS5 games to take a look at, um, and I'll have some further thoughts on the PlayStation Five and this new controller. Uh, but this was a pretty decent stream. We got a couple, two and a half hours or so on this one. And I, I uh, am uh, very appreciative of everybody that joined us. Very happy to have all the new people that have come in to watch uh, me in my basement do some streaming and some gaming with you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. If this is your first time here, please check out the channel. There's tons of really fun content, not just me playing games, but talking to the people that created them. Lots of news content and interviews and features, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, if you are a member, thank you so much. If you just became an EPN member, thank you. And thank you for the super chats. We will see you tomorrow. And until then, play forever.